Hi everyone, so in these videos I tell you how I solved the four dimensional 5x5. Five five. I don't expect you to watch the whole video, but I, um, because it's rather long and um, there's a lot of things I talk about. But I do commentate on what I've done for each step and how I solved it. Um, and if you just decide to just dive into a four dimensional 5x5 five five at some point, then maybe this could be a good reference for you to give it a try and give you some tips on how to solve it. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe, and yeah. So quite recently I've been into um, a lot of four-dimensional puzzles. Um, I recently done my first three, four-dimensional 3x3 three three solve um, not too long ago, and that took quite a while, it took about a week um, to learn how to do it. But then, you know, I solved it for the first time, and um, it was really cool. But then I also decided to do bigger bigger four dimensional puzzles. Um, what you're looking at right here is a Professor's Tesseract. Um, this is a four dimensional five by five um, Rubik's Cube. I also did try, I did actually solve a four dimensional four by four as well, um, earlier as well, but I didn't actually sort of document that, but today I'll be sort of like, this will be sort of like a video series on what I did um, for this four dimensional five by five. Basically, um, this is just gonna be what the program's recorded of my moves that I did for what I, what I was doing to solve the puzzle because I, I realized that if I was to do it in real time, it would just be too long, like honestly, looking at these pieces is quite a mission. So I decided, you know, I'd, I'll do the whole solve and then go back um, from the start of this um, log file and show you what I actually did for each step. So basically, what I did first is, of course, is the centers. The centers are basically, you've got these five by five, you know, cubes, three dimensional five by five cube faces, I should say. Um, and inside there is, is a three by three by three um, cube. That, right, the interior three by three is basically well, the interior three by three by three cube is one center. Um, and so I'll be solving basically eight of them because as you can see, there's, there's, there's eight sides on a Rubik's Tesseract. And then I'll, then, then I'll be sort of pairing up these two colored pieces, sort of cent centers again, um, but it's called, sort of different in, in some ways. But then, and then after that, I'll be sort of pairing up these three colored pieces, which is sort of like each pairing. And then I'll be solving it like a four-dimensional three by three at the end. So quite a, quite a process, um, but I should be able to show you what I've done and what the program recorded when making um, these these sorts of pieces or these sort of sorts of parts. Um, so first, the first thing I did was the the purple center, um, which is that interior three by three. You can see these are five by five cube, but inside there's a three by three um, cube, and that is one center. So this, and that, that one in the middle there is the centerpiece. So I'll be building this whole three by three uh, center cube. Um, so I'll be basically making essentially three by three blocks, and then putting three by three blocks on top of each other to make a three by three cube. What I do is I just um, go through my log file and show you what I, what I actually did. Basically, as you can see here, is I'm starting to build my first 1x3 bar um, in the middle there. Um, you can see there's a 1x3 bar in there. Um, and so what I do is I, then, then what I do is I place two 1x3 bars next to this and make a 3x3 block. So that's what I actually did. So as you can see, it's sort of going through what I've done. Um, that's what you can do with this program. You can go back and what you can undo and redo and sort of go over what you've done. Um, but as you can see, we're building this first one by th oh, this first three by three block um, in the middle there. Um, so if I zoom in here and see what's going on. So you can see there's, there's one. So there's a three by three block there. I'm gonna build one on top and then one on bottom and then there'll be one three by three block. Um, 
and I just basically just do reduction of what I do for this. Um, so as you can see, and I'm kind of building them on this side. So as you can see here, you've got a one, you've got a three by three block here, and then once I've made my three three by three block there, I can place it like that and slide it in like that. Um, and so that's how I do it. And I basically just build these three by three blocks on these faces here, and I bring them in. Um, so that's technically what I'm what I'm doing here. Um, well, what I actually did. So. So there's another one building here. So see how you got a three by three bar, one by three bar, and I basically build two one by three bars next to that, um, making sure I don't screw up anything in there. Um, so I got two one by three bars, and then and then three one by three bars, and then as you can see, I then placed it into that centre. And then I basically have this whole center solved. Um, so as you can see, that's what I did. Um, so I solved that three by three center, um, and that's what you're supposed to do um, with all of these five by five faces, or five by five by five faces. Um, is to solve these three by three by three cubes, these three dimensional three by three cubes. Um, so then what I did was I went to the pink side. So I moved that to the Carter cell, and then I solved the pink, and I did the same thing. I built my first 3x3 three, three three block in the center there. Um, so if I zoom in and show you, so you see I've got a 1x3 bar here, and then, so then you've got two 1x3 bars. And then I've basically got one three by three block there. Let's see how you got that there. And same thing as before. I'm building them on. I'm putting on building them on these faces here. So I'm using these faces here, and I'm bringing them in. So I'm building one. So I'm building one one by three bar. Grouping up with another one by three bar, and then grouping up with another one by three bar. Um, or just making. So I'm basically. Building a one by three bar, or like one middle three by one by three bar, placing it in, and then making another one by three bar here, and then placing it in, and then I've got you know this one, this three by three block. See, so I'm starting to build a three by three block on this side. So. And I'm using other faces as well. So see, so I'm bringing in this other one by three bar here, and then another one by three bar. I'm building somewhere else, and I'm bringing it onto this, like that. And then once I've done that, I can slide it in, and I've got two one by two, two one by three blocks, dot two three by three blocks, and then and then build the last one. Thing was, yeah, I was building it here, so I was kind of rebuilding my three by three block here, um, and then once that was done, I slid it in, and then from there, what I to, to slide these ones in here, I had to do like you know, what you normally do like when you're doing the second center, is you slide it in, turn it twice, but then you sort of kick the other three by three block out, so you kick the other three by three block out, slide it in, then move it over and then twist it back up because you remember you've got the purple here you've got that purple 3x3 three three block from the other one so you've got to make sure that you slide it in kick the other one out twist it around and then yeah and then you've got this like 3x3 three three block in the middle there so we've basically done so far we've done the purple 3x3 three three block or 3x3 three three center and the pink Three by three center. And then after that, I actually moved on to the, the, the blue. So 
I was going to view the blue one for you, which is over here. Um, which is actually over here, actually. And then I started building, you know, my first one three by three block on this on this blue side. See it's here and then the blue side's there, we just go like that, place it on. And we can just place it there because none none of these are solved yet, so And then we just slide it in there, and there's our blue center done. So we've got blue, pink, and uh, purple. So then I, then I actually went to the yellow center. So this is our yellow side here. And then I, you know, I did the same thing. Just build, build it rows, and then build my like, first three by three block in the middle there. And there we go. And there's our yellow center done. And we got blue, pink, and then purple. I won't show the purple because um, it's like you know still soft. Um, so then we move on to the um, I think it was the red side I did next. So move on to the red side. So now I've solved the red center and the blue, yellow, pink, and then purple. Um, and so now I was up to, I think I solved white after this. Then I had to do that sort of technique again where I had to slide, you know, had to slide one out, twist it around and then bring it back in. Same thing here, twist it back. And then, you know, I've done this white side. Now this is where it kind of, kind of got interesting. I was doing the orange, I actually did the, the orange side. So what I actually did was I found out that, okay, so I, I bought in, I bought in the orange Um, basically I made my first orange 3x3 three three block, as you would do. Um, and then I found out that, that, that I could probably do a commentator. Um, so I was placing this sort of orange 3x3 three three block, sort of like in the middle, on this side. Um, so I was doing that and then you know so, so I did that right and then I found out that I had another 3x3 three three block but this one less corner there and I was like oh um, should I do a commentator to place in it was um, let's see but then I found out I had trouble replacing this corner in here I couldn't just use a normal commentator to place it like you know slide it up and slide that one up and then slide them back I couldn't use that so what I had to do is I had to slide this into the middle like that I had to slide in that into the middle and then what I did is I had to build bars here by doing the technique which was RKT which is a like, sort of a four it's basically a technique you do for four-dimensional cubes you just turn this right side to pair up pieces 
So I kind of moved, I kind of moved the, um, so what I did was I basically just moved that in there and then I made a row there and then I used RK2 to make, to make, to make basically a, th uh, a three, like a, uh, a three by three block there. Um, and then what I did was once that was done, I can slide it into there, bring it around and then slide it back. And so what I actually did was I um, was building them on this side here, doing RKT. So now I've got the see, see, I've got this, I've got this middle um, one by three block here. I basically um, slotted it in. So what I did was I had to slot it. Um, so there was there was that orange that I picked up earlier. Um, I had to slot it in there, put it on that side, bring it down, and then once that was done, now that was that was stored on that side. I could make my other one by three block by doing RKT, um, which paired up these two down here, and then the corner. What I did with the corner is I had to move this up and then in like that. And I noticed these were messed up, so I had to fix that, moving that out of the way, then move those back. Then what I did was I bring this in, this out. Then I can do sort of an RKT move to move these, this orange here with an orange back, the, the orange row back there. So I did that. And then I slot it in like that. So, so I went once I've made and placed a one by three block I could slot it I could store it in this top side here and then make the last one um, so see I've got two there um, and then what I did here was I had to figure out how would I get that last piece there was the last there was the other piece here which was that orange and there was sort of like two oranges there so I had to figure out how would I get that last piece down. So I, what I had to do is I just bring that other three by three block there. Um, and then what I did was I, so what I did was I moved this block here. I moved this block here with the with the last piece. I had to, and there, there was there was there was the two that I had to move. There was the two the oranges there. I had to. Um, so I basically moved this block down. This uh, replaced this with this, so they both were in this middle part, like that. And then what I had to do was I had to notice that I have these two here, so I had to like um, bring that up. Then basically moved that corner that was there at the back to that front um, to make that last that that last one by three row there um, so you could see there like that and that didn't disturb any of these oranges in here um, so you can see my still one by two block oranges are there um, and then I could just move that like that then I could do that to bring it to preserve it slide um, so once I, then once that was there, I could move that row that we've made here, which was the other th that that what we connected that that corner that we connected it to, to that um, to make that that three by three block there. And then once I've done that, I just had to reset what I've done, which is which was the centers here, like that, and then inserted it, flipped it around, and bring it down. And that was the centers. Um, so that's what I did for centers. Um, and as you can see, all these inner three by threes have been solved and reduced. Um, so that's what I did. The next video would be me sort of pairing these two color pieces, which are these ones here. And that's similar to like edge pairing.
Oh, so this is similar to like sort of cent like centers on these parts here, because um, these actors sort of I don't know centers in a way. But anyways, um, they are our inner centers solved. And so that's part one of the reduction. So thanks for watching. Go and see the next video on the next part on what I did when solving this Professor's Tesseract.